Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Today I'm in the greenhouse uh, having some problems with my uh, bell peppers. As you can see, the bottom is getting rotten in. So if you guys are having problems with your bell peppers, uh, it's getting rotten on the bottom. Are the, are the same problems for your tomatoes. If your tomatoes are getting rotten on the bottom. Guys, when it comes to bell peppers and it comes with tomato getting rotten on the bottom, it's, all, it's, it's basically the same problem. And I'm going to tell you what I did to fix this problem. Now, so far, thank God, I'm not losing anymore because I lost a bunch of uh, bell peppers. I did lose a bunch of tomatoes, but after adding the garden tone, guys. You guys see, uh, this is what I've been start using right now for my bell peppers. It's This is an organic garden tone. And uh, it's like a fertilizer plant food. And it's uh, organic, guys. So, basically... Uh, the reason why your bell peppers are rotten in from the bottom and thank God these guys are growing a lot and they're growing really nice. I'll show you guys my other containers. So definitely the main thing guys is calcium. A uh, lot of the plants, you know, like the, the bell peppers, the tomatoes, the calcium, uh, not enough calcium going up to the plant could definitely affect the bottom and rotten it. So the calcium guys, when you apply... When you, I just sprinkle some of the, the garden tone and then I'll water it. And basically, guys, what it does, uh, you got to make sure, guys, when you sprinkle when you sprinkle some of the garden tone, put enough water, uh, take up the calcium and the plant food, and it's all going to go up to the, the peppers and the plant, which is going to make it healthy, stronger, and rich green. And on the bottom, you're not going to have any rot. So, so far, guys, um, so far adding this garden tone, to my green pale peppers i have no problem i'm going to show you my other plant i have another plant here i used to have so much problem uh you could see the bottoms uh i did harvest a bunch from here after harvesting a bunch of these bell peppers that's when i actually started having a problem that's when i start using the garden tone and increasing my water a little bit more to help it and so far guys the bell peppers as you could see uh they're coming along really really nice in containers and you can see my container guys you know, I have, I do have a bunch of plants in containers, and you can see they're all coming up, and uh, you can see these guys. Wow! And now we're gonna walk out to my tomato. So, I'm gonna show you guys. I did harvest a bunch from this tomato plant, but what happened? It was uh, it was really nothing was getting red, and I was losing a lot of tomatoes from the bottom was getting rotten out, and I didn't have any uh. Any, I didn't have right now, ran out a lot of stuff, so I didn't have anything for calcium or anything like that. And I was, was going to work on some eggshells, but uh, eggshell takes a longer time to break down. So what I did, I added some garden tone in this too. And once I add that garden tone, guys, I went from, you know, not just this plant, it was a couple more plants. I went from like bad rotten tomatoes, which we don't need anymore, to... As you guys could see, you know, delicious red tomatoes will start coming there. And I pruned it. I just took it all the leaf. I cut off the top of it. I didn't want it to grow anymore. It was giving a, it was getting a lot of problem. But now it's definitely working. So the garden tone uh, increased the calcium, increased the food, uh, the nutrients, and adding some water. But um, you just need when you're when you're trying to get your tomatoes ripe, guys, adding in water. Uh, you don't need a lot of water. The reason why I just put a lot of water is because the, uh, the calcium could be absorbed into the tomato plant. And I'm going to go around and show you guys my other tomato plant. If you guys see right here too, I have eggplants coming around there. So as you guys come in, you can see I have more uh, bell peppers. See that? I do have a lot of bell pepper plants, guys. I do have a lot of plants. Wow, look at these guys. Amazing. These are different peppers. Wow. So you guys ready? Look, they're getting red and delicious. And I did I did I did insane pruning. Uh look right there as you guys could see. Look. This one was already rotten. Never picked it out. Oh it fall right out. Look. I'm gonna show you guys. Look, had that problem. He was left on a couple days probably now. But um so far I didn't had so far guys I didn't had a lot of problem with them. So, thank God these guys are growing, growing, and then I have more here. Uh, we're going to check on the bottom. 
As you can see these guys are better. So this plant is doing really good. There's nothing wrong there. So guys, basically I just did, I just literally just wanted to make this video because I went through the problem. If you guys are experiencing the same problem, uh, you could go ahead and try this and fix the problem. So if you don't have like, you know, I will tell you guys, if you don't have natural for uh, compost or anything like that, um, definitely I'm um, using the garden tone. It worked. It worked great for me. It works amazing for me. And um, I, you know, I tested out before and it's been a couple days and it's working good so far. So I did. So I did apply it for my, I didn't use it for my outdoor garden yet. So I, it's basically, I did it for my um, container right now because my container ones are having a problem. So I was able to fix my bell peppers and my tomatoes in container guys. So if you're, if you're having a you know hard time with the containers, you know, you have to richen up the soil. Richen up the soil, make sure you have enough calcium and make sure you have enough water when you're growing and producing, you know, your bell peppers and tomatoes. And now the weather's getting cooler in New York. It's perfect because the cooler weather will help our tomatoes and peppers get ripened up more. And if you guys look behind me here, delicious cayenne pepper, hot, spicy. They're now getting red. Every year I grow uh, cayenne pepper in containers. The containers are small. This one is a big one, but this container is small, but they'll just produce, you know, I start cutting off some of the tips. They grow really big. You guys check in my description box below i'm gonna leave the link for the garden tone i'm gonna leave more details there so you guys could find out read more and understand more about the garden tone and how it works and uh if you're having a lot of problem guys and you don't have calcium or your plant don't have enough nutrients guys definitely boost your uh nutrients guys boost the calcium the calcium is the biggest part when it comes to bell peppers and it comes for uh, when it comes to tomatoes rot on the bottom so the rotten on the bottom remember it's calcium and you need enough water in the plant to take up the calcium so the plant could absorb the calcium and take it. So go ahead and try that out, guys. And or if you ever try garden tone, uh, leave leave a comment below. Uh, let's help a lot, let's help more people understanding about the garden tone or calcium or this problem. Or if you guys have a better way and you want to share it to my channel, always help sharing it, guys. There's a lot of people who check it out and it could help them and it could help all of us and everybody. Alright guys, so there you go. Thank you guys for watching Green Tea Garden. Please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's 100% free and I have a lot more videos coming up guys.